I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Sam's Club and then also my Kroger delivery order. I got that delivered this morning and then went to do pickup at Sam's and I really just wanna do like a restock. We've got more family coming into town in a little while and I just felt like I needed to kinda, of, I don't know, go over things. I'm going to be restocking the pantry and the fridge, doing some organization, things like that. So hopefully you enjoy the video and you find it inspiring. All right, starting with my Sam's order. I've got some of these turkey snack sausage sticks. Got some butter, I'll put some in the freezer. A Caesar salad. Pack of the Colby Monterey Jack. Pineapple spears, these are pre-cut. Here are a bunch of Chobani zero sugar Greek yogurts. There's 16 in this one and it's just like a mixture. I have a bunch of Go-Gurts. These can also be put in the freezer. The kids like them as like popsicles and stuff. And then I got a big thing of Greek uh, honey vanilla yogurt. I got a big pack of the Z-Bars. I The kids eat these a lot and I'll eat them occasionally too. And Harper especially loves these big bars. And these have the raspberry and the blueberry in them. I like these because they're a little bit more on your healthy side, I think. And then I've got some maple syrup, which I go through a lot. This is organic. I've got some Pringles for lunches for the boys. And then I have a big bag of the chicken tenderloins. These are frozen. I'm just gonna put these in the freezer, obviously, and they're nice to have on hand. And then I've got a box of the fruit bars, the popsicles, outshine fruit bars. I got a big bag of the oranges. These are the peels, mandarins, and then a bag of apples. Also a big bag of toilet paper. And moving to the stuff from Kroger, I've been very excited to find that I can have Kroger delivery here. We used to have them in Ohio and I've gotten, I think this is my third order. They do have some promos that you can order like your first several times, they'll give you a discount. But they often have really good sales. They've got like their BOGOs or their coupons you can clip and things. And I, th yeah, I was pretty impressed uh, with prices. I don't remember them offhand, but I think all of this was, I think under 100. I've got some meat. This stuff was a good price. This, I don't even think I realized I ordered this big of a bag, but either that or I ordered two of them and they just gave me one. It's a five pound bag. I plan to do a ricotto chicken for when my uh, husband's family comes around, so I wanted to have that ready to go. We go through corn dogs here, chicken nuggets, sweet potato fries, and then some more Go-Gurt. And I decided to try this. Uh, I haven't really tried this flavor and I'm not super familiar with Spindrift, but I know a lot of people like it. I got a bag of onions, some of the petite red potatoes, some almonds, some chocolate chips. I thought I ordered two, but maybe I didn't. And these are just on hand for when I have like my husband's family around. So I have something really quick and easy for coffee instead of always using my Breville. So grab those. Got a pepper, some onion, uh, taco seasoning. Also grabbed one of these. I have never tried Celsius and I know Nick has, but I decided to just try one. They had a coupon on it too. Got some bagel seasoning, some barbecue sauce, and these granola bars. I often have these on hand. I love the Sunbelt ones. And then some cereal. So I'm gonna be doing another giveaway today. It's actually my birthday, so I thought I would just do another Amazon gift card giveaway. So $100 to one of you, and hopefully it can be open to pretty much anyone, as long as you have like an email address, I think it should work, hopefully. So make sure you leave a comment, be subscribed to my channel, and like this video to be entered into the giveaway. And I'll pick a comment at random, and then respond to that comment, and then also I'll put it in my community tab. So it's just a fun way for me to give back to you all and a little way to say thank you to everyone who keeps coming back to my channel every week. It just it means so much to us and it's just, it's something that I'm very grateful for and I don't take it lightly. So thank you all for being here. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're curious, I'm turning 35. To some of you that may sound old and to others of you that might sound very young. Somehow 35 just sounds a lot older than 34. So <laughs> 
I don't know how the rest of you have found it who have surpassed this age, but I know it's just a number. It's relative. It really, you know, it's, it's quite fine. I am enjoying my 30s. Yes, there's a lot of you know, things I'm learning and it's, we're in the prime of our life, you could say. I really honestly am enjoying my 30s. I feel like it's better than my 20s, to be honest. So, you know, it's not all bad and it's just a number and I'm gonna try and make the most of it. got a few more organizing bins I think for the fridge but it, they can also be used elsewhere I have over the years kind of collected things these are fairly inexpensive you know they hold up well and they can be used in so many different spaces so I have four of these these are from Amazon I will have them linked in the description box I also have had a bunch of these uh, from M Design. I've had these for years. Uh, so slowly as time goes on, I've been collecting things. I also ordered a few more of the pop top containers from Walmart. I have had some of these for several years as well. And these are the Better Homes and Gardens brand. So slowly I've been accumulating some of these. I wanted a few that are like bigger because I have some that are more like your smaller square. They're a different brand. And I just find that some of them are just too small and they don't like work out. So, and your needs change as time goes on as well. So these are really honestly not bad priced at Walmart. They're like a knockoff of the OXO. I have some of the OXO brand, but these work just as well. I've not had any issues with them and I have a lot of these and I like them. Uh, I would definitely recommend them. And then these are a little bigger. This is a 16 cup for reference. Okay, so I think my fridge is stocked for the most part for now. I cleaned out parts of it. I had actually, like a couple days ago, I had sort of like gone through and purged everything. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of that as far as like getting rid of, you know, stuff that's old. And I had wiped it down, took out this glass, cleaned it. And so it wasn't as bad today, but I just have everything reorganized and some new bins and these are subject to change i am sure like they won't necessarily always be in here just depends like right now we have a ton of yogurt <laughs> so you know once i get rid of that something else might go in there or i'll take a bin out it really just my fridge is never the same so i have to leave room for leftovers and you know random things 
I have uh, like my lettuce here, some leftovers. And then up here I have kind of a variety of different things like relishes, salsa, some jam. Uh, you can see there's some chicken base. And then here I've got eggs. So yogurt, fruit. This container is just miscellaneous fruit. Some pineapple. And then I have my milk, half and halves, heavy creams, juices, taller items here essentially. And there's there's room to you know add more things if I need to. And then I've got some applesauce here. This is a turntable that I like to keep in here as well. You can access it easily. This is stuff we don't reach for as much, but just like different sauces and such. And of course I have my sourdough starter here. And this is normally my veggie bin. It's fairly full at the moment. And then this is mainly for like the kids. And this is my meat and cheese drawer. And then on the side, I have different like ketchup, some more, there's ranch, some jam, different types of things here. And then my butter up here. And then on this side, I've got a few random like pepperoni type things, hot dogs. And then in the bottom, I've got my meat. I've got some vegetables and random things. And then in the top, I have fruits and popsicles, ice cream, that kind of thing. So it's all cleaned out, ready to go. I got the pantry restocked for now. I did see a few things that I need to restock even more. I hadn't bought more of, but it's okay. I kind of reorganized, took out a few things that were like expired. I didn't like thoroughly go through everything, but 
I don't have like a huge stockpile of things and so I feel like we go through most things fairly frequently. So on the top shelf I've got my canned goods, some that I did myself, and I've got some turntables here. And then on this shelf this is my like more reached for items. So pastas, I've got some rices, and then just like smaller things, clear gels, uh, cocoa powder, you can kind of see what's there. Bread basket here. I've got the Jevy ice maker here, which I actually need to uh, fill with water. And then I have my KitchenAid here. And Nick just recently got us this Cutco set of knives. I never had like a full set. And then I have like bigger ones uh, in the other drawer out in the kitchen. Quickly run through the drawers. Uh, this is really, I don't have much in here and I should clean it, but I just didn't. This is some iced teas. I it's a little shallow so I'm there's only certain things I want to put in there and I don't want to put like knives in here right now because of Harper she can reach in and grab things so I have to kind of keep them out of her reach for now this is mostly uh, snacks there's crackers popcorn graham crackers things like that and then the bottom is cereal so those are all the ones from Walmart and then moving over into here, I've got my grilling utensils. And then this drawer is fully stocked. I love it. It is filled. It should last us a good long while. Bottom one has the chips and snacks. If you didn't ever watch our pantry remodel, this is, we did like a whole video on it. Um, we kind of customized it for us. We bought the cabinets from Ikea. I think we spent I don't know, under a thousand dollars. And then we just use some plywood for the top. All these shelves here are butcher block, which Nick installed. And we put a little bit of a stain on to kind of match the kitchen. I also added some peel and stick wallpaper from Target. We also have our microwave in here. And then this basket is for, I generally have like paper products, some paper products. So I have some in the laundry room as well. And then uh, like onions and potatoes in that one. And then this one is a Lazy Susan. So it'll spin around. And I have like different uh, dry goods in here. Just kind of a miscellaneous of stuff that doesn't really go like on the shelves. So that's that. I'm gonna fill that thing with water and I'll let it do its thing. I've got a quick little Amazon unboxing here. I had just ordered a few other products that I also wanted to try out here in the kitchen. So I've got some cup holders for coffee cups that I'm gonna be trying out. I also ordered some dish towels and pot holders. I really needed some new ones. I also got a bamboo organizer to add to the one that I already have to kind of help some organization in the drawers. And I will try to link this stuff below if I can.
I'm done with the spice drawer. This thing is really super cool, actually. I don't know why I just didn't do it all this time. I've had it ever since we moved in over a year ago. <laughs> I just never put it in there. So now they're not gonna be floating around and there's still room in the back here for like odds and ends. And you can see I have a few things that I should get new jars for, but I think I would have to order some, so. I'm just kind of using the ones I have, which is okay, but it looks so much better. I can see the strength inside you. Child, you're putting up a fight. Oh, you're stronger than you think you are. Yeah, you're gonna be alright. You're accepted, loved, and valued. Beautiful, you're shining bright Yeah, you're living, breathing, moving You can hold your head up high yeah. Don't give up, no, don't give in Never lose hope, don't let go of the promise It ain't done yet, he's got a plan I have been loving my Tinoco vacuum. It vacuums and mops all at the same time, which is amazing. It is not a like deep clean type of situation, at least not in my case, especially with our vinyl floors we have, they're pretty matte. So it's more of a keeping up with just the daily grit and grime. It's not like a deep clean for me. I will say they do better on tile floors, I think. They're wetter, so I don't feel like it's super wet on like my main floors, even though it has like a an extra you know boost if you need it but i really like it it's just a lot easier than trying to drag out your mop all the time like i don't mop every week even honestly so this is changing my game and i will link it below Okay, so here is this drawer. I just have a few odds and ends, things that we reach for a little bit more often in here. And I got a couple of new dividers to kind of match this one. And over here, this looks slightly better. I actually found these containers at Dollar Tree. They're like the acrylic, uh, just little square slots. So you could look for those there. I think they're like a dollar fifty or dollar twenty-five. Um, so I'll see how this works. It's more cleaned up than it was. We have most of our like vitamins and things in here, and then the things we like use on a daily basis. Even some of these, I think I should probably just get rid of because I'm not using them. So it's mostly the kids' stuff and like a few of mine. But this drawer looks a lot better. It sits right underneath my coffee station here. I'm testing out 
these little hooks here. I They should be like, I should have more room so that I can put things underneath properly. But the way my shelves are set up, it just doesn't really allow for that. This is where we keep our glasses, drinking glasses, so the kids can reach them. This one has like all my empty jars that I put up there, and then I've got like my extra coffee and stuff, and then this is more like nicer glassware. I don't use it very often. And then extra plates and things that I don't use a whole lot either. And then my coffee mugs that I use a lot. Just for reference, this is where I have our plates and bowls and things, so then the kids can reach all of them they're right here. So the other drawer I reorganized is this one. I have some new pot holders. Mine get so grubby, even with washing, it seems like it doesn't last very long. I also have some of these to put pots and pans on. And then here's all our aprons. Here's a slot for our washcloths. I have most of them in the laundry right now. And then these are all new towels that I got. I was like, I am tired of having mix and match and they were looking pretty grubby, a lot of them a few of the older ones too but these are microfiber i've not washed them yet so i'm gonna see how they do but i'm guessing they'll be fine as far as for cleaning off they'll be super absorbent so i'll go ahead and link uh, both of these in the description box here's the junk drawer uh, it's somewhat organized i just need to kind of clean it up a little bit and got rid of a few things and this is in our laundry room for reference Another place that I recently redid, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have probably seen this, but I redid this under the sink cabinet and it's working out really well. I keep my dishwasher pods in here. I've got a few essentials in this one. Uh, I've got sponges, some more sponges, and then these. And this is one that actually slides out. I don't really use that function, but it's really nice if you need to get something in the back. And then this one is just for, you know, various items. I have a brush hanging here and then I've got paper towels. I've got some dish racks and my cutting boards and then also my garbage bags in the back. And then I have one of these uh, sink protectors here. The only issue is I, there's not enough clearance for this thing to pull out if I keep it up. This front little lip here, it's supposed to be like a water catcher. It protects your sink in case of leaks, but uh, I just had to kind of fold it down so I can still access these drawers. It has been working out pretty well. I'll link these below as well, as long as they're available. the end of the day I am tired I have been working at this stuff all day long except for running to get the kids and taking Jackson to baseball practice I am going to call it a day I really hope you enjoyed the video Make sure you leave a comment below if you haven't already and that way it tells me that you've entered the giveaway and hopefully one of you guys will enjoy using this and maybe it's something you can you know, buy as far as organization wise, or maybe you're wanting a, a Tinoco vacuum mop situation. I don't know, whatever you feel like you need it for, I am just so happy to be able to give back and bless one of you all. So let me know if this is something that you enjoy, this type of content. I will hopefully have some more things like this in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.